Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you. And Hello, and welcome back to Frontline Rejects. Today on the channel, we're going to be heading out and enjoying a little bit of late season archery hunting while well, hopefully you're enjoying the newest installment in our expansion series. The round that we're going to be testing out today is Norma's 180 grain Oryx, chambered in 300 win mag. This is a bonded core bullet, and we'll be testing it from 100 to 500 yards through our Bergara B14 HMR. As always, make sure you stick around to the end of the video when we get into my favorite part, the graphing. And if you enjoy today's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. With that, let's begin. So just a quick caveat as we get into the results here, we weren't able to record the 500 yard impact due to some equipment failure. Turns out that extended exposure to 25 degree weather doesn't make our filming equipment happy. Nevertheless, the normal Oryxes seemed to like the weather just fine, as the 4 and 500 yard impacts are just as impressive as the earlier ranges, which were shot in better weather. At the 100 here, we can see extremely uniform and impressive expansion with seven distinctive petals peeling back off the body of the round. At the 200, the round was nearly flattened, expanding almost all the way back to the base, while still maintaining an impressive jacket and core bond. The 300 is very similar to the 100, with expansion stopping further up the shank. 400 is much the same, with 500 having some slightly weird-looking deformation. We did recover this round from our high-tech fleece bullet stop, so that may have had some impact on how it expanded. Looking at our graph here, we have some extremely impressive numbers. At the 300, the round returned peak expansion, at 3.218 times its original size. After factoring in the other ranges, we came up with an average expansion of 2.99, which is the best average expansion out of any round we've tested so far. Weight retention was good. At the earlier ranges, we lost a bit more weight while those bullets were still carrying a lot of energy. But by the time they got up to the 3, 4, and 5, we started to get very even results with about 5% weight loss. Overall, we had an average weight retention of 89.6%, which we're quite happy with. Overall, I am very pleased with this round. It performed well at all rages fired, and I would be more than happy to take this hunting any day of the week. I think the only knock against it is its relatively low ballistic coefficient which is a G1BC of 0.354. Compared to many of today's controlled expansion modern bullets, this is significantly low for a bullet in its caliber and weight class. While this could become a problem with achieving peak accuracy at longer ranges, we found it to be a very accurate and extremely consistent round out to 500 yards, which is plenty far in our book. We're going to look into getting some more normal Oryxes and other chamberings to see if we can achieve similar results. We hope to see you then. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed today's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.